hey what's up guys welcome to another episode of lc stack so guys in today's video there are multiple things to learn in today's video i'll show you how you can create a wrapper class in apex i mean this is as usual as we were creating earlier in apex so there's nothing new to it so let's skip this point so i'll teach you how you can send your wrapper class data to your lightning web component okay and then in your lightning web component how you can display that data and with that data i will be displaying a checkbox as well okay and uh, so let's say i'm passing list of accounts in my lightning web component and i'm displaying a checkbox with that custom table in my lightning web component and we will be able to get the selected checkbox from that lightning web component so basically we'll be getting the selected data from that lightning web component and later on if you want so you may send that selected data back to apex but that won't be a part of this demo as i don't want to take this video a little longer okay so uh, let me start with the apex first let me show you my vs code so guys this is my vs code and this is my apex class my apex class name is wrapper table so here uh, you may notice i'm having my uh, my wrapper class here so my wrapper class name is account wrap and in account wrap i'm just passing account id account name and account phone and apart from these parameters i'm passing a boolean parameter is selected just to check on the uh, lightning web component if this account is selected or not and apart from that guys i'm passing index here because uh, while displaying a list to get a particular row from that list you need index of that row so that's why i'm passing index here you must have noticed the index variable uh, in iteration in the aura component but in lightning component i couldn't find anything so at the end it ended up by creating a custom variable custom parameter for that so in this example i'm taking a custom parameter for index as well and this is the basic constructor in which i'm passing all the values with the is selected false and the index with the correct index value okay now this is my method which will be called uh, using that lightning web component so guys in this method i'm just storing the data into my wrapper class so i'm just getting list of account here okay i'm just getting 10 accounts and underneath that i'm just inserting those account into that wrapper list i'm inserting id name phone number and row index row index is another custom variable here so the default value is zero and i'm increasing the value on the loop itself so you know it could just get the auto number thing and guys uh, after that i'm just returning a string here so you must have noticed i'm returning the string i'm not returning the wrapper class here because guys somehow by returning the wrapper class i was not getting the data into my lightning web component so at the end i decided to pass it as a string so guys to pass it as a string you can see the method uh, the type is a string here and to pass the data you have to pass it by serializing it into json so that's why i'm using json dot serialize here and i'm passing my account wrapper list as a string to my lightning web component all right now let's go to my lightning web component javascript first so guys in my javascript i'm having two list here the first one is array and second one is kind of object and underneath that i'm just calling my get accounts method from that wrapper table so i'm using wire function here as i need the data on the load of the component so that's why i'm using wire here okay this is my basic function in which i'm just getting the list of a list of records basically from that wrapper class as a string okay so guys as you notice like from that apex we were sending a string but uh, from on the lightning web component we have to display the data as an object so again on lightning web component we have to parse the data so that's why i'm using json.parse here so my data can be converted into the object again okay and underneath that I'm having few more functions which I will describe later in this demo. Let me just 
show my HTML file to you. So okay, this is the basic HTML I'm using here. I'm just using the base HTML table tag here with some lightning classes. And in this table tag guys, I'm using a checkbox. So this will be a checkbox on the header section as well, just to, you know, select all the rows in the list. And in this checkbox guys, I'm just calling a function handle all change. And I'm having account name and four. And this is my body of this table in this body I'm just creating a loop of account list and I'm displaying account I, I'm using account ID as a key because whenever you will use the for each loop in the lightning web component you have to use a unique key for each row so that's why I'm using the account ID here and underneath that I'm having another checkbox this is specifically for this row so there will be a separate checkbox for every row and I have connected it with the is selected from that wrapper class Underneath that I'm having account name and account phone and underneath that I'm having a lightning button here just to get selected account. Okay, now let me go to JavaScript part again so I can just explain the function to you. So guys, the first function is handle all, all change here. So what it will do, it will just select all the checkbox or, or deselect all the checkbox based on the header checkbox selection. So what I'm doing here, uh, let me just remove this additional console. Actually, whenever I'm testing a component, I'm habitual to use, you know, so many consoles in it. So, you know, I can just check the selected value. Okay, let's keep this one. Okay, so in handle all change, I'm just creating a loop of account list, which is the wrapper class from that Apex. And in that loop, I'm just assigning the value to the is selected parameter and the value will be event.target.checked. It, it means the checkbox checked value. If the checkbox will be checked, so it will return true. If the checkbox will be unchecked again, so it will return false. Underneath that, I'm having another function just to check the specifically selected checkbox and to get the selected row. So for that, we need that index so that's why I'm using the value here in value I have passed my index let me show you again so this is the checkbox and value you, you may notice acc dot index here so that's how I'm just getting the selected rows index and by getting the index I'm getting the specific record and I'm inserting the checked value or unchecked value into that specifically record okay at the last we are having get selected accounts so in this function what I'm doing here I'm just creating a loop of the account list wrapper and I'm just checking if the value is selected or not and if the value is selected then I'm uh, inserting the data in the array which is selected account so I'm just doing this dot selected account dot push just to store the selected value into that array okay now underneath that I have just printed selected account just for testing purpose and guys let's say if you would like to send this data back to that apex from this lightning web component so again you have to use the same method you have to pass it as a string and get it as an object again okay so if you would like to pass the data so you just have to use json.stringify and your selected account list here all right so that was my complete code now let me show you the output okay here it is so this is the final output of my lightning web component i mean the design is not decent but as it was just only for this demo so i just you know tried to keep my efforts keep my uh, you know just to save my efforts so let me just open the console here let me clear all these values okay so here you may select few accounts let's say I can select this and you may notice the index and the value here so the index is 2 0 1 2 and the value is true now if I will select the next one so the index is 3 and value is false and if I will uncheck it so it will show the index and value again so that's how you may get the data okay and now whenever you will hit the get selected account so it will display selected account count of selected account basically so the count is five 
and it will also show the stringify here so it's stringify data that can be used to pass it again to that apex class and you may select all account you can see the unnecessary console logs here and if i will click on get account now so i can see all the account here okay so that's it for today guys so i hope you like today's demo and as usual i will be having the complete code on my blog which is salesforceport.com so don't forget to check that out i will be having complete code here so you can just directly go on to my blog and check it out okay all right guys so if you like today's video uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching